Many students, teachers, researchers, and even writing organizations believe that Turnitin always stores files into its uh, server. And once you check a file on Turnitin, it becomes plagiarism forever. There is no way to gain back this file except by contacting Turnitin authorities or by rewriting the entire manuscript. There are certain misconceptions with this belief and I'll guide you about the three must-know truth for you with which you can check any file with Turnitin safely and prevent the big panics of rewriting your entire hard work, manuscript, research paper, assignment or dissertation. Subscribe to my channel, press the red bell icon right here and get every video to the solutions of your problem before getting struck. So the first truth, Turnitin keeps the record of all the uploaded files in order to compare it with the new files being uploaded to the Turnitin. And the second truth is that you can prevent your file from getting stored. Now you want to know how to prevent a file from getting uploaded and stored. If you are checking the file from Turnitin using similarity index and using the quick submission option, the process is simple. The process is a little bit complex if you are a tutor and want to prevent the submission of student's file onto the server. You need to check the assignment setting for this. So in order to tell you how to do it, I'll open up my browser screen. I'll go to the Chrome, open Turnitin login page. Uh, put up my email and password and click on login and now for the first method I'll go to the quick submit option I have to be careful for one thing only I want to check it with the internet resources with the student papers with such periodical journals and uh, the institute repository of my own institute I want to make sure that my paper is not submitted or uploaded to HEC, so I'll have to choose the no repository option. This is the most important step. You have to choose no repository option in order to prevent your paper getting saved into any of the Turnitin server and click on submit. Now I have to just put uh, the name of the author, in this case my name, the last name of the author in any submission title let's say test and then i'll choose a file from my computer mm, which one to choose let's choose any file from my computer yeah this is a big report but it's okay to upload it here I have confirmed I want to submit this file. Now I can check it in this assignment inbox. You can see that I have uploaded a file with my name Danish Shafiq and it's uh, a test file and the similarity report is yet to be generated. We will check it out um, but first we go to the second method. This method is for the teachers so you have to choose a class you are teaching for in my case I am teaching workshop practice and these are the assignment I have made and here I can access their settings so I have to go to the settings I have to make sure uh, that there is no submission option selected so I'll go to the settings and then um, more settings uh, and then I'll choose the last option. It will search the student paper repository, institutional paper repository, archived internet, periodical journal and publication. But the most important part is I should make sure that my paper submits to no repository in order to avoid making it plagiarism. And I'll check the settings and click submit in order to save the setting. Now I'm fine that any assignment uploaded by the students such as these won't become a part of um, Turnitin uploading file repository and won't be saved to the server and if they upload it again and again it won't become plagiarism uh, you see uh, this is the test file its similarity index is generated and i can check it by opening another window i hope that you uh, like this video and found it helpful and have subscribed to my channel 
I want you to tell me which videos to make and what problems to solve in the comments of this video below. Thank you for watching this video. Stay blessed.